I'm weary to move someone from the right side to the left side as a slapper unless they are incredibly fast. If, if the person is incredibly fast, I mean off the charts faster than anyone on the team, you can tell this person has incredible speed and maybe they're not getting the job done from the right side, that's something I would do. I would tell you that uh, as a college recruiter, someone who coached at the college level, if I have someone who can slap, a one-dimensional sl slapper who can just kind of soft slap, to me that's not a, a really a, um, a, a person that I really am looking for. If they can slap and swing away and power slap and bunt, that person I, I want to have. So I think that a lot of people uh, switch their hitters over to a slapper and they become one-dimensional slappers who can just soft slap. Uh, they just try to put the ball in play. They can't bunt, they can't swing away. And I, when they get to the college level, those players are easy to defend versus, you know, if you're a softball fan, you watch someone like a Natasha Watley, someone who can look at the field and go, I'm swinging away, boom, and the defense is playing back, drag. And so I would just say that slapping is not a short term, like, hey, I think I'm going to do this now, just like hitting is. And so I would say that it has to be something that comes really natural to them or something that they're going to really invest their time in getting better at. And so I would prefer to take that same hitter and figure out how do I make them better from the right side? How, what do I need to do to get them to, to, to the right side? Again, unless they are incredibly fast and, they, and I have that conversation, hey, I want to switch you over to the other side. Let's, I want to talk about slapping. Are you willing to really invest in like your swing, bunting, the, the entire aspect of slap, slapping? If they are, then I'm open to that too. So.